Uh, somebody else that was out around this time. Uh, <laughs> William Regal was removed from the road during this time because he's still suffering from a stomach parasite he got while touring India. I remember that. Did it almost kill him, he said? Yep. Yeah. Bruce, Bruce Pritchard talked about that. He said he was like, yeah, damn near killed him. Oh, well, Vince kept him on the payroll the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> All you know, Vince is Vince is an a hole, evil piece of crap, though, dude. You know, keep that in mind. <laughs> but yeah, no, William Regal never has a bad word to say about Vince because Vince has went out of his way for William Regal. Man, I mean, Jim Ross talked about the first meeting he had with Vince. Uh, Regal, like Jr. brought him in. They had a meeting with Vince. Regal fell asleep in the middle of the meeting because he was so zonked out on pills. Wow. Yeah. Was that the working man's man meeting? Uh, yeah, I think that was right before then. They decided not to hire him. And then when he came back, they did the working man's man or the. He came back. He came in man. once looking like Steve Regal or yeah, Lord Steve Regal from WCW. He came wearing right. all my gear. He came in some like weird generic rock music running down the ramp. It's supposed to be the proper yep. English guy, which just looked weird. Yeah, but then I think on... he was gone. And then the working man, then he was gone, I think. Then he came yeah. back and. Yeah, when he finally came back, because he, he was still, uh, when he was the real man's man, wasn't he Steven Regal at the time? I don't remember that. I don't remember. Yeah, I, I'd have to the look name, at that. I, the name anyways. Yeah, but I know when he did come back, he was William Regal, um, and just William Regal. Yeah, he, he was pretty much doing his WCW shtick, uh, minus the, uh, the robe, so... But yeah, uh, William Regal is another one that had a hell of a career for himself. But did he get fired as the King of the Ring too? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he did. Or suspended? I shouldn't say fired. Suspended. Yeah, yeah. There was a there was something going around at the time that he was supposed to get like a world title push or whatever. Like not actually win the belt, but you know get a get a match and uh, kind of get a main event feud going. And then he got suspended for roids. So uh, now I got to yeah. ask, who does Regal have pictures of? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I think at that time it was like, a, well, he's damn good. And he was getting some reactions from the crowd. And I mean, I wouldn't say top guy reactions, but, you know. And now that, you know, he's able to get out of character more and he was the GM forever. People freaking love him, man. Oh, yeah. Like, you, you never, It's I, weird how he's like he'd be one of the most despised and one of the most loved. That's. Right. That's freaking talent, dude. And I'm dude, not being well, sarcastic. Growing up, I never really gave a damn about Regal other than I thought his stuff with Jerry was hilarious. Oh, my dad loved him in WCW. <laughs> really? He did. Wow. This guy's great. Wow. The wow. two guys he loved the most were him and Chris Benoit. He obviously loved guys that could wrestle. <laughs> so there you go. Like, I don't hey, know. He, as a kid, I mean, he, was a, he was just a dirty heel. I'm like, I don't give a damn about him. I hope someone kicks his ass every night. Yeah, my dad <laughs> loved him, dude. Seriously, he had some good. I mean, looking back, he had some great matches. Uh, some of his yeah, opponents weren't now, all that great. Yeah, but I didn't appreciate it at the time because, like I said, he was a heel, so I hated right. his guts. But, yeah. Yep, he was a more than a capable performer, though, and uh, he he definitely put the uh, the fine touches on uh, uh, Brian Danielson there. So he he helped. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Today. That was the Miz. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god! I want to <laughs> smack the crap out of you. So or I should this, say the more famous MJF. Wow. 